What's going on, people? It's the Xbox 448, and today I'm bringing you a video about DirectX 12. Now, I don't have any real new information on DX12, but I've had people ask me questions as to why there is such secrecy with DirectX 12. What's up with the NDAs, um, which is non disclosure agreement? How come they're not really sharing anything right now about it? Now, you know, I did a little brainstorming and I think I came up with the reason as to why. Because when you look at the X1 and what they're doing with the X1, um, to see where they're going, you really got to look at Microsoft as a whole. Now, Microsoft as a whole is trying to reinvent itself as basically an all-in-one company. Kind of like what they first unveiled for the X1 as an all-in-one system. Now, when they made DirectX 12, what they were thinking about, it, you know, not just the, the graphics boost, performance boost, but they were, ta they were talking about the ease of porting over to multiple devices. There you go. There's that all-in-one mentality now the reason why they're not talking about it too much right now i i believe and, and and this could become fact when they do show off this is because of windows 9 now if you remember windows 8 uh when they unveiled windows 8 we'll, we'll just say it wasn't the best unveiling ever because you know there were certain apps certain games that were only um compatible with Windows 8 and not a lot of people like were really into such a change in Windows didn't really like Windows 8 so you know they, they had a backlash to that now what if DirectX 12 even though it's compatible with 80% of the hardware out there in terms of PCs what if it's only compatible with Windows 8 and Windows 9 are they trying to avoid uh, that backlash coming sooner and for a longer period of time and you know they could possibly be keeping this you know under wraps until windows 9 is unveiled that's what i'm thinking about that um that would be the only thing that really makes sense to me in terms of why microsoft is keeping it so hush hush right now uh another thing i wanted to talk about is tomb raider exclusivity uh the 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 next Tomb Raider, Rise of Tomb Raider, is said to be exclusive to the X1. Now, a lot of people are saying it's a timed exclusive. Uh, I do know Phil Spencer came out and said that, you know, the the contract or agreement with um, Square Enix is is very similar to that of Crytek with Rise and Dead Rising with Capcom. Now, you got to think about that all-in-one mentality again, and. This is the reason why Tomb Raider, Rise of Tomb Raider is not coming to the PS4. Now, when they talk about this agreement, both Rise and Dead Rising went to PC. Okay? Now, if they're really going to show what DX12 can do and how easy it is for games to port over from console to PC, you know, and vice versa, but basically console to PC, wouldn't you want uh, a solid franchise to show this off a game that people want to really play and have it come out on the x1 and then show how easy it is with direct x12 to port it over from the x1 to the pc i don't believe they'll, they'll be able to put uh to basically you know bring it over to a cell phone but it would definitely show the e the ease of porting a game over using direct x12 and I know that's one of the big things that Microsoft was talking about with this new API. Um, and then just one final thing I want to talk about. Uh, if, if you guys have seen, you know, the Gamescom um, demo of Quantum Break, there's just one question I want to pose. How much of DirectX 12 was used in that demo? Uh, if you remember, Microsoft stated that with DirectX 12, you'll have richer scenes and environments you would have more things on the screen and did you see how many things when when time was suspended how many things were in the air how many particle effects how many um different sources of light and everything was in those scenes at you know any one point in time it was absolutely insane but you know these are just a few of my thoughts guys um i definitely want to know what you guys think do you think that this this would be a good reason why they have these ndas on dx12 um let me know but as for now this is the xbox 448 signing off <laughs>